In this video, I'm going to show you how I find references and turn them into a design template that you can use for products or any other sort of design. First, we're going to look at some Pinterest references and then show you exactly step by step how I recreated it using different elements so that you can replicate that process for yourself. So let's get started. All right. So here we are in Pinterest. I am going to type in retro advertising because that is what I want to replicate and we have a lot of really great options here. Pinterest is just so good for finding inspiration. I think I'm going to go with this old Converse ad and what I can do is right click and just hit copy image. I can go over to Kittle and I can just command V or control V in that image. So I just pasted it in. You can also just right click and paste it if you want to. I'm going to drag it over here to the side and blow it up just a little bit. And so this is going to be our reference piece for the design that we make. And so what I'm going to do is start out by finding a picture of some shoes and I'm going to type in Converse here in our photo tab. I'm going to go with this one and remove the background here. So going with a little bit of a different uh, aesthetic in terms of the photography it's it's they're basically just kind of flat laying here and so I'm gonna make the same style of advertisement or post here with some serif style headline is the photo of my shoes and the point here is to make something that I can easily replace the middle with whatever product I want for example maybe it's a t-shirt maybe it's a water bottle whatever it is so this is just some filler text I put in here if you want to be the best there ever was then you have to wear the best again this is just kind of silly text uh, as a template so that I can set this up to utilize later so I went back and forth from a different a series of serif fonts that I wanted to use I kind of landed on uh, young serif here. I thought that one just kind of made the best example in terms of like uh, getting close to the reference but still being a little bit different. I wanted something just a little bit thicker. And so now I'm going to change our background color. I am envisioning kind of like a soft sky blue. I kind of like this blue uh, versus the kind of dark red that's in the original reference. Then I'm adding a basic shape from the elements panel and what I'm going to do is actually give this a border weight. I'm gonna give it a really light cream or tan border weight and I'm gonna take off the fill. So if I go over here to this circle with the line through it, that means take it off. So I've taken off the fill here. I'm gonna increase my border weight because this is what's going to go around my image. As you can see from the original reference, you can see that kind of border around it that is light tan. So over here, I can play with object shadow and this would apply to obviously any image that you put in here. If you remove the background, it will apply some shadow to it. And so I can kind of go back and forth and figure out what I want to do with the shadow in terms of where it's coming from in terms of light. I mean, I think really any area would probably work. I'm going to leave it somewhere around here. I think that works fine, but you could continue to play with the shadow for whatever product that you use. And now to work on the type a couple of things that were reminiscent of this kind of nostalgic or 80s or 90s editorial style was to have the lines really close together and the tracking or the kerning really close to together. So the letters would be a lot more tight. There would be a lot less space in between each letter. And so you can see that's, that's essentially what I've done here with those two settings over in the right panel. Just gives it a little bit more uh, style in terms of that 80s and 90s aesthetic that we want. Then what I'm going to do is duplicate the text. You can hold alt or option key and drag. And then what I'm going to do is make a small little paragraph block as you can see over in the left side reference. And I'm going to left justify this because this is just kind of silly border text that we're about to put in here. I'm going to severely drop the size and I am going to go for a sans serif font i like to use a lot of that's the that's kind of like my default for subtext or filler text and then what i'm going to do is just basically type in this whole little story about being the best there ever was and then a you know small thing about how we can't really promise that these shoes will make you the best but you know it, it's just kind of silly filler text as you can see so I've, I've made that pretty small and you can already see here that these are the three main components is you have your headline text your object and then your kind of filler or subtext which really works as a design element itself down at the bottom and so as opposed to trying to make an ad for converse because that would be pretty disingenuous i i, I am I don't work for Converse. I don't have 
any you know store that is a Converse store. So I'm making something that might be reminiscent of like a secondhand shoe store or a local shoe store. I'm just calling them good shoes. And then over here in the abstract panel, in the elements panel, I'm going to find this little shape right here. I like this kind of orbiting star shape here and i'm just going to put a couple of these in here to one fill space but also you know they might be this little logo uh you know part of the logo of this good shoes store logo i think what might be nice as well is uh like a checker a, a checkered one and so oh there's a checkered one there here we go so one of these i, th I skipped it here we are so, so this checkered pattern i think is just reminiscent of some of that nostalgic vibe designs as well as it just comes to mind when i see converses for some reason i you know i guess maybe it's just the black and white or just the pattern that it is i just have this kind of checkered flag motif in my head and then i think i'm going to put these star and checkered spots over here on the right just to you know kind of mirror the left where you have good shoes and then you have some little 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 logo elements on the right that kind of complete the, the design here so this is the final design hopefully that was helpful for seeing how you can take a reference and create your own template and so what you could do with this is again put anything you want there in the middle maybe you want to put a bottle maybe a hat and you could change your headline text change some of the stuff on the bottom change your colors and you could have some really cool product images or social posts please let me know down in the comments if you want to see more tutorials just like this and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other videos and updates and new features that are coming out for Kittle by the way if you don't have Kittle yet go ahead and use the link down in the description along with a promo code to get a percentage off your first purchase whether that's for the month or for the year. You can find all of that information down below and we will see you in the next video.